next up we will be creating some of the user interface that we will be needing because uh, wanted or not creating a crafting system will require you to have user interface parts and we will be creating all of that but we will be keeping it very very basic it won't be pretty at all but it will be functional um, and it's very easy to later on when you have something functional to just go in and say okay now I want to spiff up how my crafting system look, works by just going into the different widgets and uh, changing up how they look so what we will be doing is we will be creating <clears throat> four different widgets we will be creating a crafting widget which will be the sort of crafting system as a whole we will be creating a crafting item, which will be a, uh, a, sp a specific item in the crafting system that you can click on that symbolizes a craft. Uh, so the wall, for example. And then we will also be creating a, a crafting details uh, widget, which will be sort of the showing up the actual recipe needed to craft this. So the basic components that you need to craft the item. And lastly, we will be creating a last widget, which we will be calling crafting details item, which will be one specific instance of a component in, um, in a recipe. So for example, uh, in this case, when it comes to the wall, we would be having three different items that are shown. We would have the uh, the wooden boards, we would be having the nails and we would be having the hammers appearing, all those different things. So let's get started on doing that. Uh, it won't be super pretty like I said and it won't be super advanced but uh, hopefully it will help you visualize how, how it could be done essentially. So let's start off with our first one. Uh, our widget for crafting we will call w for widget underscore uh, crafting. So this would be like the whole um, crafting widgets essentially. We will be removing the canvas. We will be saying uh, desired on screen. And from here we will also be adding a container. And this will be a horizontal container. Or a horizontal box rather. Uh, which we will be placing here and the reason we have a horizontal box is because we will want to have first one grouping of all our different uh, recipes and then to the right of that we want to have the actual details of the selected item uh, <clears throat> so to create this we need to have a vertical box as well and this will be the one that contains all of the different uh, recipes essentially so in this box is where we will be placing the those things, but we haven't created that widget yet. Uh, but we will be creating that and getting back to this. Uh, so let's do that. So now we can create a widget called W underscore crafting item. So this will essentially be one recipe. <coughs> So our crafting item will be sort of similar. We will remove the canvas panel. We will do a desired on screen. And for this, we could make a size box so we can determine how much space this would uh, take um, just to have something to constrict things within. So we can override the width and the height and we can take something like arbitrary numbers like 300 in width and 50 in height so this is essentially one recipe that we will be having uh, in addition to that we will be needing a button for the actual clicking functionality for this so there we have a button um, this button we will then place we can actually name this essentially first off here because we will be needing this to be uh, named properly for us so we can call this craft item selection button um, we want to have a box for this horizontal box 
So we'll add that to the button. Since the button can only hold one item and we want to have a few different items here, I figured we want to maybe have something like an icon for whatever we're crafting and a name for whatever we're crafting. To get both of these things into this um, uh, button, we need to have a horizontal box to place them in. So we can start off with taking an image that will be our uh, our icon. Now in this specific crafting system I won't actually be making use of the icons but I'll just be placing here to show you how it's done essentially. Uh, since we're not making use of it I won't be naming this uh, either to something good so we can make use of it either later so uh, if you want to ex extend that later on uh, you might want to go back and, and fix this afterwards. Uh, in addition to that, we also want a text. So we'll drag out a text over here and place that over here. So now we have a text and we have a but, uh, an, an image essentially. So we need to uh, make this a look a little bit better. So we'll go here and make sure that the horizontal and vertical alignment for the button is chosen. Then we'll go to the horizontal box and make sure that we make use of the filling both horizontally and vertically for um, the content of that and <clears throat> then we can go to the icon and we can make sure that it's left aligned but taking all the space uh, vertically that it needs to and then we can have the text block box uh, take up the remainder of um, the the size that's available to us here um, This is the result from it, what it will be looking like approximately. And we can do something like this. We can change the text. We can call it um, crafting item, just so we know what it is. So this is essentially what it will be looking like. Um, yeah. Now we need to have, uh, well, actually we don't need to put any, we, we can skip the functionality for this for now. We'll continue creating the widgets that we need. So now we have the crafting item, which is the recipe. We want to go back and actually create the, uh, the, the details, the components that we need. So we'll go to user interface and we did blueprint, W underscore, and we'll call this um, crafting details. Again, if you feel that these names are bad or anything like that, either uh, continue and finish the tutorial and change them in the end so that all the references are changed and you don't get confused about what thing I am meaning when I'm saying something um, or go to the final product and uh, project and rename them there so you don't uh, accidentally screw up your, your, your traversal towards the final product. So having the widget for crafting details, what we need to do is very simple. We're going to remove the canvas panel. We are going to make it desired on screen. We are going to add a... We will be needing a bunch of different items here. So a vertical box will be good for us. And in this we will be adding our items. To see what that would look like we can take our user created and take our crafting items and then just throw in like three of them or something. And this is essentially what we will be ending up with. Um, and that looks fine for now. So we'll compile and save. And that part is done for now. And then we go back and now we're gonna be creating the very last um, actually, that's not accurate what I said. We don't want to have um, the crafting items because that's not actually what we will be seeing. So we'll be removing these for now. We want to have the crafting details, details items. So let's create that widget so we have them. So W underscore crafting details item. So these will be the different components. Maybe components or crafting components would have been a better name, but we'll stick with this for now. 
So let's create this then. We'll remove the canvas panel again. We'll make sure that it's desired on screen. We will not be creating a vertical box, but a horizontal one, because this again is something that we possibly wanted to have multiple uh, things inside of. And by that, I mean, we might want to have something like an image for an icon. So we can add an image here like so. And then we could add something like a text, uh, which would be our description of uh, what, um, what, what the component's name is. And we could also have a different text for um, showing the, the different uh, components numbers that you need. So the, the required amount to craft and how many you have, for example. So we can add another text for that as well. So let's uh, name the first description text here and call it um, uh, resource description text for example and make sure that it's a variable because we will be changing that one uh, and to give it a name just so we see what it would be looking like you can type in wooden board or something like that and the last one we can call uh, resource text resource text make that a variable as well and we'll say that this is something like uh, three out of five or something along that. Now, this is what our different items will be looking like. So we can go back to our crafting details widget. We can add our crafting details into this one. So that's a representation of what it would be looking like essentially. And that looks okay as a starting point it doesn't look fancy at all or anything like that but that's that's okay for now so we have created the crafting details item crafting details and the crafting item let's go back to the crafting uh, widget itself the main widget essentially and in this one we want to uh, we want to have our vertical box here uh, contain uh, our different crafting recipes. Since we don't know how many they would be, it might be prudent to make sure that it would be able to handle many of them. So we can type in scroll to get the scroll box. So it should hopefully be handled well if we had too many of them. To see what this would look like, we can go to our user created now and we can take the one that's called crafting item and put a few crafting item in the scroll box. So now we see this is what that would look like. But in addition to that, we also want to have some buttons to be able to close this user interface down and we want to have a button to be able to craft something. So let's add a horizontal box for that. So we'll add this horizontal box to the vertical box, making sure that it ends up underneath the buttons, essentially, like so. And we can call the scroll box a name. We can call this crafting item container. So we know that, okay, I apparently lost that. I seem to have thrown away a bunch of stuff. Vertical box, horizontal box. Did I lose the... Let's undo. Okay, so I maybe erase this one. So we'll call it here. Uh, so the scroll box we call crafting item container. So since it contains all the crafting items or recipes. We'll make this a variable because we will be needing to reference this later on to actually populate it with the, the actual recipes inside of it. The horizontal box on the other hand, uh, this one we want to have our buttons inside of. So we'll type in to get buttons. We'll put in two different ones like so. Okay, only one ended up in there. So now we have two buttons. 
And these buttons, we want to have one to be able to close and one to be able to craft. So we can call the first one our close crafting button. That didn't work at all. Let's try it again. Close crafting button. Like so. That worked better. And I have that as a variable. Of course, it's going to be that by default. We click in fill also because we want to make sure that it takes a lot of space. And the second button we then go in and rename as well. And we'll call this one our craft button. We'll make sure that that's filled as well, which will make them take up equal amounts of space here. So half half, which will make it look OK. Uh, we'll do a type in text and drag in a text on the close crafting button and a text on the craft button. That way they both get texts. So we'll take the first one and we'll change the text block to close. We'll go to the other text and type in craft. And now we have essentially our uh, widget for crafting. In addition to this, we also need to know where our details are going to be appearing. And they're going to be appearing to the right of this. <clears throat> so to see how that would look like, we can go and take our uh, user created over here, our crafting details, and we'll put it in the horizontal box and bam. That's the end result, essentially, of what we will be having. Um, yeah, I think that looks OK. So let's finish this off by saving it. So now we have the user interface done. And now it's time to start working on the actual logic for all of this. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.